uh, again this week. Thought this week talk about something about how to form a habit. Um, there's something called the 2190 rule, and that is that uh, you pick a goal and you commit to that goal for 21 straight days. Uh, after the 21 days, you should start to form a habit. Continue that for another 90 days, and it should should definitely form a habit. They say the average is about 66 days for for that uh, for that. Uh, commitment to that goal to become a habit. So taking that, I know this time of year a lot of people are committing to different goals this year. One is maybe exercising or losing weight or getting in shape. So I talked today a little bit about creating a habit of exercise. The going phrase now is, is exercise is medicine and it is true. Uh, research has shown people that get regular exercise, uh, they feel better about themselves, they have more energy, they get better sleep, uh, they're closer to the weight they actually want to be. So how do we actually get ourselves to, to get exercise to be a habit? So what you want to do is you want to pick a goal, whether that goal might be you know, a certain weight, um, you know, a fat percentage, inches around your waist, you know, how many steps you do, how many reps you do at the gym, um, whatever your goal might be, you have to set up a goal and you try that for 21 days straight. So how do we do that? Well, you want to make sure you put it on the calendar. You have to prioritize, make an appointment that every day you've got this something to do uh, with it. Um, it has to be fun, so you don't want to do something you don't like because you're not going to do it. Um, so you don't want to be too sore after it because you're sore, you're not going to do it. Uh, change it up, do different things. Uh, make sure you log it, so whether it's how many steps you've done that day, how long your heart rate's been in a certain zone for, um, you know, so make sure you log it so you can go back later and you can pat yourself on the back for, for doing something successful. You know, a lot of people find the buddy system works well, so that is finding a friend or someone you know who wants to have similar goals and going out and doing it together. That way those days that you don't really feel like going out, you're going to drag, uh, that buddy's going to drag you, you out and likewise when your buddy doesn't want to go out, you're going to say, hey, I, you need to come out and do this with me. So it gets you out and, and, and keeps you on track. Make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes, clothes you know, that are suitable for the, the uh, exercise you're going to do. Um, when you're finished exercising, make sure you wash the clothes. Uh, turn them inside out so the bacteria, because you sweat more on the inside of the clothes and the outside, so turn them inside out uh, and wash them. And make sure you do it sometime after exercising. Don't put them in the laundry hamper and let them sit for three or four days because bacteria builds up on it and it's tougher to get it clean. So make sure you're wearing, uh, wearing clean clothes. But you also can set up some rewards. So once you set those goals up, whether it's a certain weight or whether it's a certain steps or whether it's a certain um, number of reps, whatever it is, keep track of it so you can set yourself some weekly weekly goals or monthly goals and give yourself a reward. So you know, at the end of the week you've done so many steps and you say, okay, I've completed this many steps this week, so now I'm going to go out and I'm going to get that milkshake or I'm going to buy that. You know, at the end of the month you say, well, I've done this many steps or I've lost this many inches. I'm going to get that new top or those new shoes or, you know, set up a reward program to keep you going uh, on it. So how do we determine how much exercise to get? Well, they say you need about 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week. So what's moderate exercise? Well, if you want to calculate to get your moderate exercise, take 220 and subtract your age. So I'm 60. So let's do 220 minus 60. So that takes me to about 160. At 160, now you want to subtract your, your heart rate, your resting heart rate. Let's say my resting heart rate is 60. So 160 minus 60 is 100. I'm going to take that 100 and going to multiply it by 0.5. So half of that. So that's 50. So now I'm going to add back my resting heart rate, which we said was 60. So I'm taking that 50 plus the 60, now I'm at 110. So when I'm exercising, I want to get my heart rate to a minimum of 110. You go higher if you want, but you want it at a minimum of 110. I want to get about 150 minutes of that a week. So at 110, for me, 110, you know, I'll have a light sweat on, uh, I'll, be, you know, I'll be breathing a little bit heavier, but I can still carry out a conversation uh, with someone. I can still focus on my podcast that I'm listening to or the music I'm listening to. Um, on my uh, on my iPad or anything like that, so it's not really heavy exercise. You're not going to be sweating profusely. It should be just a a, a good a good warm uh, that you're getting, um, and that can be done over seven days or five days or three days. But 150 minutes a week is what you need to to do. So if your goal is to try and try and lose weight or or you want to set up exercise as a habit, you know, try the 2190 rule. Try and find that goal, you know, with a target. Commit to it for 21 days, you know. Keep going after 21 days because you should be forming a habit at that point and, and create that habit of, of, of getting exercise because what's going to happen is you're going to feel better, you're going to have more energy, you're going to sleep better, and, and you're going to get your weight closer to where you want it to be. 
If you have any questions about anything we're talking about today, you can always uh, email me at jgoldsworthy at goldswells.com. Talk to me on Facebook. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I've got your back.